Welcome back guys, I've got a really exciting SPAC video today and it's a SPAC I'm willing to invest a lot of money in and it's pretty exciting so let's get right into this video. So this is still a rumor and this SPAC is trading right around $10.54. It's no confirmed deal, it's still just a rumor. So this SPAC is going to be raising $750 million. So it's going to be going for a pretty big company. And the company is mainly going to be targeting a fintech company. And what I think is that it might be targeting SoFi. So there are two companies or two SPACs which are targeting SoFi. The first one is Fuse, which is already at 11.34, and the other one is at is Arthur's acquisition at ten dollars and fifty four cents. So this is Arthur's Capital Partners. This is their website. And here they explain they're raising 750 million. So it's going to be a big tech unicorn they're, they wanted to merge with. And it's, they want to merge with the fintech company. So their leadership matters a lot in these SPACs. Because these people then try to get the stock price up. As you can see, this is Mr. Boone Sim. Who had a company in the S&P 500. And was one of the senior executives. And... He's made the stock price go up a lot before selling it for $45 billion. So the leadership really matters with these SPACs. And I would bet on both Fuse and AACQ. I currently hold more Fuse than AACQ, but I'm willing to increase my uh, AACQ uh, stake a lot. And the thing about these SPACs is that their minimum price they can go to is $10. Uh, obviously, after the merger, they can go under $10, but before the merger, the minimum is $10. So it's kind of like um, a bank account. You're keeping money in, and if it goes up, if it goes up. And if it doesn't go up, you can cash in your $10 back. Uh, so you're only going to be losing 5% if like this rumor doesn't kind of work out. And in my opinion, if the whole market crashes, like the whole Dow Jones crashes, uh, the minimum it can go down is 5%, whereas stocks like Alibaba, you saw, uh, went down 20% the other day. So these are, so, uh, these are some pretty safe options buying it around the 10 mark. It has gone a bit up in the past week, 2.43%, but it's not like Fuse. Fuse is currently getting some hype. It uh, popped from 1040 all the way to uh, 1134, and people are talking about Fuse, but people aren't talking about AACQ, which might be also contending for SoFi. I think the rumor has it more People think that Fuse is going on with um, SoFi, but I think it can pretty much be the same probability. Uh, or maybe some insiders already know it's going to be Fuse. But Fuse is also going to be raising $750 million and targeting uh, a fintech company. And uh, so will a AACQ. Actually, AACQ is uh, raising more money. Um, so what exactly is SoFi? It's a fintech company and uh, they have an app. On the app store which allows people to manage the money invest uh, and they have like many services for personal loans student loans and they even have their own credit card so we're gonna go ahead and check their credit card out um, they're gonna be earning giving cash backs and they're pretty nice to consumers actually um, and I actually like these fintech com fintech companies going into 2021 um, we saw companies like Square run up a lot and all these payment providers are pretty awesome. So uh, we're going to be seeing which company it merges with, but I definitely am um, recommend, recommending for you guys to buy AACQ. The min, the, your maximum risk is 5%, whereas it could probably even double in the next two to three months if the rumor is correct. So more people are looking at Fuse, but don't forget about AACQ. Um, that will be it for this video, guys. I know this was a bit too short, but um, that will be it, guys. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. I really would love that. It would help the YouTube algorithm so, so much. And if you guys could like also like the video, that would be amazing as well. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.